What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. It's been one year since I swapped out the broken engine and replaced it with a Predator engine on this little Wonder Leaf Blower. And before I use it this season, I need to make one improvement. Hopefully we can get it started. In a previous video, I swapped the engine out on this blower, so I'll put a link in the description if you're curious on how I did it. I did have to make a few modifications to make it work, but it was definitely worth it. Now, in the years since, I probably only put about 5 hours on it because I don't use this blower commercially, so it makes sense. It's been very reliable in that time, but it's been almost 12 months in storage, so hopefully it starts up. I only use 100% gas in the engine, and I did run the engine till it died, so there shouldn't be any carburetor problems, but you never know. If you didn't know, gasoline with ethanol doesn't store very well at all, so if you put it in your equipment, I would suggest you also run it out of gas before storing it. Just like the warning label says on the side of the engine, I need to check the oil before I try and start this thing. Now on this style of engine, the level needs to be at the top of the threads, which ours is. Also while we're here, take note of the color of the oil. If it's dark brown, you might want to consider doing an oil change. Ours still looks fresh, so I won't do one till the end of the season. Now, the improvement I need to make doesn't actually involve the engine, but with the tires. Now, these tires were replaced over two years ago and have finally dry rotted and cracked despite being out of the sunlight. I only replaced the two rear tires, and I hate to say it, but I got what I paid for. These were on sale at a local store for just a few dollars, but there were other options there that I never really considered until now. Now, I could go with a really nice, good pneumatic tire like the one in the front, but I still have to keep an eye on it so it doesn't go flat while in storage throughout the year. So instead, I decided to install solid rubber tires with the main reason being I don't have to worry about keeping them inflated. To replace these wheels on this blower, all you have to do is remove a snap ring with a special tool, swap the wheel, and then replace the snap ring. The only criticism I have for this tire is that they don't absorb the bumps very well, and the wheels themselves with the tires are very heavy when compared to the pneumatics they replaced. Other than that, they're pretty good. The next thing is making sure that the engine will start. Now, the most important part is the gasoline. If you can't find 100% gas in your area, consider using an additive to keep ethanol gas from clogging up your carburetor during storage. Now, I'm not going to put a lot of fuel in the tank just in case I have to work on the carburetor. Now, the fuel shutoff valve is open and the carburetor is already in the choke position because that's how I run all the gas out of the fuel system at the end of the season almost a year ago. Now, I normally shut the fuel valve off first if I still have gas in the tank. This reduces the chances of flooding the engine if there's a float problem inside the carburetor. Now, in the next video, I'll show you how I clear the leaves in this area to go from this to this. I'll end up using a handheld leaf blower, the Little Wonder blower, and even my riding mower. So my question is, would you have gone back to the cheap pneumatic tires or more expensive pneumatic tires, or would you have done what I did and bought hard rubber tires instead? Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time here. Please feel free to ask any questions and I hope to see you in my next video.